Okay, now we're going to talk about weak hand shooting. In many ways, it's a mirror image of strong hand shooting, but one thing we're going to kind of bypass now to keep things simple is drawing the pistol out of the holster weak hand. That's a little bit more complicated. It could also be one of those situations where you've had the gun in your hand, primary hand, strong hand, and you drop it. You get injured or whatnot, and you drop the gun on the ground, and you have to retrieve it weak hand. Once again, we want to keep this tight into our body. Remember, chances are almost guaranteed it's going to be injured or you're going to be occupied with it. So this hand, you want to pull it in tight to the body. You don't want to have it out here wagging you like a dog's tail. Okay, so we're going to pull it tight into the body. Now, presenting the gun to the target. Once again, it's like presenting your finger towards the target. If you're pointing towards the target, strong hand or weak hand, it's the same thing. So the gun starts to come out up on target and slack, bang just like that. Okay, notice my stance. Once again, pistol's left hand, foot slightly forward, left foot. So whatever foot corresponds to the hand the pistol's in, you want that foot slightly forward. And I want to be in a little bit of a lean. I want to get behind the gun so the gun doesn't push me back. I don't want to get too bladed to the target, right? Because I don't want to expose the side of my body. I want to be just a slight forward lean with this foot forward so I can control the gun. But I still have body armor coverage if you're law enforcement or military and body armor is a factor. All right, so once again, here I am. I present the gun to the target, finger goes in, slack out, pick up my dot, bang, just like that. Here we go. Finger straight, come up on target, slack out, like that. Notice also, just like with strong hand, I'm not canting the gun. I don't believe in that. My theory is always keep the gun up and straight up and down if at all possible. All right. And if you do can't, minimize it and know you're canting. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. Got something out of it. Remember, like I said with strong hand, strong hand weak hand shooting is just like an insurance policy for your car. You want to have your money going in, do something for you in case you have an accident. Same thing here. I want the practice that I put on the range, whether it's at home or dry fire, I want the practice that I put in, strong hand or weak hand, pay off for me in case I ever have to cash in that insurance policy. Stay safe. Practices at home, dry fire before you hit the range. We'll see you next time right back here.